All right, everyone, welcome back to Hard City Raindrops. My name is Will, that is Storm, and today we're gonna show you guys our training techniques and what we do to teach, what I did to teach Storm to drop it command or let go. Um, keep in mind, Storm is trained in German, so our command word is gonna be Aus. O-U-S, Aus. Up here, good girl. So she loves to rope pull, that's her favorite. Um, toy so that's what we're gonna use for this because I want to keep it fun That's one thing you're gonna want to keep in mind always keep it super fun like anytime you're gonna train your dog You you want to tire the dog out and have fun be playful do different things no training no, no obedience things nothing like that Just have fun run around the yard take go for a walk a good walk whatever and then do your training It'll just make it so much easier she'll listen respond well and you're still keeping it fun by rewarding the dog and pl being playful when they do the right thing so real quick me and storm are going to show you how we we do the thing so normally on a, n a normal training day we train every day no matter what it is no matter sharpening up her skills for sit stay lay down on in her it's it's uh german so it's going to be plats sits here Bleib and Aus. Those are the main commands. Um, if you want to learn German, know how to teach your dog German, it's it's super easy. I mean, the dog doesn't know English, so why can't they know German? It's really just the vocal of that word, how it's coming out of your syllables, is what the dog's listening to anyway. It can be T Rex has a boner, and it'll be fine. Now, maybe not that long, but you know, boner Rex, boom, that's drop it. So anyway, um, T Rex boner dog. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do else. We're gonna do let go. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I'll cut that part out. So, but we always keep it fun, like I said, and you know we train no matter what. If it's just to brushing up on those type of skills, or if it's to do more advanced stuff like search, or you know I'm burying something out back and we're looking for it and she finds it and we're start I'm starting to venture out farther now too so we got all of those videos coming up guys but I want to hit the basics first so my most important thing with with let go is in an aggressive situation she she could drop she'll let go of the toy when I tell her to most times but it's when she, I want to simulate that um that adrenaline pump of, a, of either, of God forbid, a dog fight or worse. You just never know. I just want to make sure she knows how to let go and more of a, you know, she's pumped up. So the way we're going to do that is I'm going to get her rope and I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to, you know, get her all pumped up. And then I'm going to start giving her the command to uh, let go, which is going to be else. You're going to hear me say else. O-U-S. There might be an E, but I forget. We are gonna use some of her favorite treats, these like little Ritz cracker dog treats, and just regular dog bones. Now keep them in your pocket or a pouch. Do not put the treat in front of your dog's face. It's trying to say, let go. Like say you have the toy, you don't want to like have the toy like the treat in her face or whatever. Like so, if you have the toy and they have it here, and you're like, yeah, oh, so you know, of course they're gonna pay attention to the treat. So you want them to listen to you. Get their mind, she knows I have treats now, or somewhere, They're, they exist, right? So, she knows that, so I'm gotta get her mind off of that. The way I'm gonna do that, is to play with her. Good girl. Just let, she'll hang on to this rope forever, guys. She's so strong. <laughs> yes! All right, so at this point, she's she's not she don't want to let go. I got her adrenaline rushed up. You know now usually too, no matter what kind of training we're doing, we are going to play first for about a half hour, 25 minutes, maybe a long run or a walk. Look at her, she's ready, she's pumped up. Ouse, ouse, ouse. Good girl, good girl, mama, good girl. Yes! Good girl, puppy! Okay. Oh! Oh! Sits! Sits! Blibe! Blibe! That's stay. Here! Yeah, she's doing good. 
So, now, notice what I did though. When I wanted her to let go, what good would it have done if I had the toy and I'm like, like, you know, trying to tell her to let go and I'm still applying pressure, you know? So the way I started doing this is because it didn't work at first, is you just slowly stop, just stop playing, you know? You, you know, don't take it, well, I don't take it, but you just kind of back off it and say, with one hand and say, ouse, 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 good girl, ouse, 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 storm, ouse. See, I'm giving pressure now a little bit. She thinks I still want to play. So that's why you don't want to, you don't want to give any kind of pressure. You just kind of want to drop it. Ouse, 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 good girl. Good girl, mama, that's a big one. So basically what you see me do is I let go of the toy and let her know that, okay, this is time to stop now. I want you to stop, I want you to let go. I'm letting go, you let go. And um, she, she done, she's doing very well with it. Good girl. Ouse. Ouse. Good girl. Sits. Plats. Plats. Good girl. Ouse. Good girl. She knows she's getting rewarded. She's doing good things. But that's okay. We're going to keep her mind. Let's do this one more time, and we're going to keep her mind completely off treats for a minute. And we're just going to play for a minute. Let her think there's no more. Now you're just going to have to be good. <clears throat> She's really strong, guys. Now, I don't recommend you doing that with your puppy. It takes them a while to swing them like that. And make sure you put them down gently and don't twist their hind legs because they can pull a hammy. Good girl. Yeah. Woo. Woo. You're a big boy. Dog girl. Okay. Hey. Yeah. And watch your hands do it if you're going to play with a rope. Ouse. Good girl. So like I said, guys, Storm, she's pretty much, you know, she has this stuff down. She is a little bit more trained than most probably dogs. But the way I did this is like I showed you, you just stop. You just stop being the aggressor. You, you stop playing. You know what I mean? You're not playing with the rope no more. She wants to play, and if you're trying to say, let go, let go, what good is that going to ever do if they have it in their mouth? That's also one reason why I decided to train her in German for you guys, because what I'm doing is, like, basically, if I'm trying to explain something to you guys, and I'm saying, let go, let go, let go, like I just did and gave an example, she doesn't know that that means drop it. Her language is else. Good girl. And that's it, you know? Now, there's a real good chance if I let go of that toy like that and said drop it, she would do it because she's kind of used to the hand signal now. So let's see if we can get her to drop it with my hand on the rope still. Ouse, ouse, because that'll tell that she's learning the word. Ouse, storm, ouse, ouse, good girl. So she's getting it. So that's pretty much easy puppy dogging. So that's a good thing. She's starting to pick it up. She knows the actual word is ouse now. Let's try one more time just to make sure we got her good for the video. You okay, Bubba? Okay. <clears throat> ouse. Oop, I lost it. Ouse. Ouse. Storm. Good girl. Sits. Platz. Plats. Good girl. Such a good mama doggin. So, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. I hope this helps you with your dog to train your dog to, to let go. It's a question I get all the time because people want to play with their dogs with toys, but they can never get the dog to drop it. And that's the way you do it. So, now if it was a ball or something like that, 
really simple. Start with something like a rope. Start with something like that. Learn the word. Anytime the dog makes eye contact, remember, I'll leave a link to my original video. Eye contact is key when training pets. The second the dog makes eye contact with you, you know that you're in charge. That's when you reward. If the dog makes eye contact, you're golden. With training name, would sit with anything. As soon as they make eye contact, you make and say, good girl, that's what I want you to do. They start to understand that at a repetitiveness. Now, you could never stop. Like I see a lot of people, they stop training their dog. We train every day. She just turned one. We train every single day, no matter what it is, for a half hour. I don't have her scheduled to like crazy. It's just whatever we feel like doing that day, but we constantly keep it fun. And next video, we are gonna do um, the, and I'll give you a little taste of it right now. So in the next video, I'll give you a little taste. We're gonna train her to, I'll show you guys how I'm training her to step. So, sits, blide. I'm gonna throw the rope, I have the rope in my hand. No, sits, blide, blide. Abort, good girl. Go get it, good girl, go get it. Get your rope, get your rope. Good girl, get it. Now she wants the tree, okay, good girl. Now, of course I'm gonna reward her in that situation because she did what I asked, you know what I mean? Another important thing to remember also when you're training your dog is when they don't do the actual thing to the full extent, like maybe she just lets go a little bit. Your dog's gonna do this at first, especially with like a rope. And they just let go a little bit. Say good girl, reward them, even if a little hint of it. And then they'll start to slowly pick it up. Dogs are very smart. And the more you keep doing things, the better they get. And then it won't be long. I mean, I guarantee you, if you do what I just told you to do, you're having a problem with your dog letting go. They just wanna keep pulling. I hear a lot of people say this all the time. They're like, oh, my dog wants to pull forever. Yeah, I get it. You know, you can't get them to let go. They'll just want to pull and pull. Yeah, of course they want to play, but they got to know when it's time to drop something. And if you do this, I can promise you it's going to work. You'll be putting in the comments below that you have your dog dropping toys, dropping balls, you know, dropping, drop it like it's hot um, before you know it. So that's it for this video, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Hopefully this video gets uh, 100,000 views like the other dog videos do. Um, I really appreciate everyone taking my advice for their dog training. Like I said, I'm not a professional dog trainer at all. I'm just a guy with a dog. We, we enjoy it. We have fun with it. And um, Storm's doing great. She's a healthy one-year-old blue-nosed pit bull. See how, you know how I know she's blue-nosed? Because um, her, her coat's actually blue. And then actually her... Um, her nose is blue. Mwah. I love this dog. All right, guys. See you guys later. Peace.